Hello there, my name's Craig from Max Truck Sales and welcome to this video based on our second option or one of our options on a plant uh, cheese wedge type vehicle sat on top of a DAF CF450 8x2 rear steer chassis sleeper cab. So, a couple of options then we've got. Uh, as suggested before in a couple of our other videos, we have options on electrical items. You can have pretty much what you want. These days everyone wants DVS standard, so this is fitted with it as a standard option, partially from factory and then completed by ourselves on the completion of the work. Again, crane fitted, this is a FASI F400D 2.24, 40 meter reach sort of thing. Uh, I'll come back to the crane on another video. Now, this is meant to showcase the options on the cheese wedge bodies that we've got. We have two options, this being second of the two. If you look at on our website, we have links to both videos so you can see the two different options virtually the same on both videos the only option being different on this one the side rail is uh, channel inverted the opposite way so you've got different lashing points you've hedge bars you have five ton lashing rings both on the outer edge and internal on the floor winch options a little height headboard again with chain spikes you have chain wells at the front there pad carriers tool cabinets fitted down the sides uh, with ladder rack option on top of the on the on the on the toolboxes here. Now on a DAF it's slightly different to Volvo's because of the equipment on the chassis. You can get the ladders on top of the toolboxes rather than fitted them under slung at the rear. So it gets everything higher, a lot more safer on site. Wing options again it's exactly the same as the other vehicle. This one's fitted with checker plate, Durbar type aluminium wings. You can have stainless, you can have plastic, you can have plain aluminium again. Housing there inside there, you've got the same safety systems for your leg locks and for your ramp stabiliser jacks. Exactly the same design if you like. Underneath we've got the stabiliser jacks which are vertically mounted. So there's no turning from the cab raising along your suspension when your vehicle's unloaded, loaded sort of thing. Much easier, much safer. If it's dug in the mud, you can lift it straight up. Same approach angles between 12 and 13 degrees. Double kink on the, on, on the ramps there. By folding ramps again down to the floor, you have ram guards there, protection for your rams, number plate obviously. The rear under protection is part of the type of pro on this vehicle again. Camera options, you have twist lock pockets in the ramps on the floor, which you can, you can just see there, so you can mount a 20 foot container on this. The other vehicle had the pull out twist locks on, that's just showing you different options what you can have. Now on this particular vehicle, it's just got a set for 20 foot, which is what their requirement was. Hope you enjoyed.